I don't really want to talk to you right now. I just want to crawl in the corner with the sandwich and eat it. Mm. Mm. I am going to show you how to make the best grilled chicken sandwich in the world. It's juicy, it's tender, and it's the easiest one you've ever made. If you're talking about chicken sandwiches, I don't mean one of those deep fried ones. I do love them. But grilled chicken sandwich needs to be grilled on a grill. And it starts with good chicken. And when I'm talking about good chicken, I am not talking about those exploded chicken that you find in the supermarket. You know what I mean, right? These fast raised chicken. Yes, the ones that are always on sale in large packages. If you go one step up, you get this. This is a package of free range chicken, which is already better, but we're not quite there yet. If you look at the same supermarket, you might even find a better version of that. And this is a free range chicken that has been roaming around with no fences and just being able to go everywhere it wants and eat everything out of nature. Real tasty stuff. Look, it even got a taste award. This stuff is so super tasty, it's freaking awesome and you can find it in your local supermarket. Now this is not a commercial, but I want you to understand that good chicken is easily available at an okay price. Of course you're gonna be paying more, but it's better for the chicken, it's better for you. So don't, I wanted to say some nasty things, but don't, don't, don't go complaining about it. Just pay money for your chicken because it's freaking delicious. For this supreme tasting chicken thigh, I'm paying one euro less than the lower quality chicken fillet. And as a big bonus, I'm getting more fat on my meat. I like my chicken a little bit of fat with more flavor. And check out the color difference between these two cuts of chicken. One is yellow and one looks like it has some flavor. We need to prepare these chicken fillets before we start grilling them. And we're using one of my tricks to get it right. We're going to flatten these thighs in a plastic bag. Put a little bit of olive oil in just to make sure that the chicken thigh doesn't stick and flatten it with a heavy, large object. For our sandwich, we're not gonna be using one chicken fillet, not two, but three. Look at these beauties. <laughs> Ready to be grilled. All they need now is just a little bit of salt and pepper. At this point, we got an amazing grilled chicken sandwich with salt and pepper, but we're not gonna stop there. We're going to add more flavor. It's gonna be a herb basting butter. And yes, all good things starts with a good quality butter. To that, we're going to add a fine chopped shallot, two garlic cloves, two tablespoons of fine chopped parsley, two pinches of salt, half a teaspoon of ground pepper. And now we'll mix it all together. And since quality check is my middle name, I gotta try this butter. <laughs> oh, it's strong, garlic and shallots. Of course, flavors are tuning down once we're grilling it, but for now, this tastes fantastic. I got all my ingredients ready. I got lettuce, sliced onion, cheese. I crispened up my bacon, toasted up my buns. Let's fire up the grill and start cooking. We grilled that chicken to perfection. Now it's time to start building up our burger. We'll start with the heel, put on a little bit of Japanese mayonnaise, some fine chopped lettuce, and on go our chicken fillets. And look at how beautiful that cheese is melting over our chicken thighs. On goes a little bit of crispy bacon, and finally some red onions and the crown. Our burgers are done, and it's time to taste. This just makes me, it makes me smile before I start eating it. It has everything that I dream of in a chicken sandwich. Okay, but seriously, do I need to talk about this? Because uh, the picture says it all. And it, it, it just smiles, it's like it's smiling at you. Nothing else to do, but take a bite. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Seriously, I'm, I'm getting emotional. That is an amazing tasting chicken sandwich. Mm. I want to say something, but there's still too much in my mouth. You know, we talked about, uh, about the burger bun, that it was kind of cheap because it was a little bit uh, prefabricated. But actually, the burger bun reminds me of 
um, a McChicken. This chicken sandwich is amazing. And we put Gouda cheese on it. But the thing is, the chicken makes the sandwich. No, but seriously, I, ha I have a complaint. I think that the garlic butter isn't there anymore after the grilling. Not as much as I would have hoped. We got mayonnaise, we got lettuce, we got chicken, we got cheese, and we got that garlicky butter sauce that we brushed on during grilling. On a positive note, the cheese, I was kind of skeptic about it. I don't need to be skeptic anymore. The cheese is amazing. I can taste every little bit of it. The bacon is there, the onion is there. It's a well-balanced sandwich. Well, I say this a lot, but this is the best chicken sandwich I've ever made. And the thing is, you just want to keep on eating it. Remember the last chicken sandwich, like one year ago? I was amazed by that. But this one is better. It's right there in front of your face. And I don't want to talk about it. I just want to eat it. It's, it's, my job is so tough now. And this one is more simple. That's the crazy thing about it. This is only just grilled chicken. My brain says, keep on eating, keep on eating. You want it, eat it, eat it. And my mind says, I have to talk to you and explain it. I don't really want to talk to you right now. I just want to crawl in the corner with the sandwich and eat it. And don't show to you guys like, Smeagol style. Mm. Mm. I want to thank you for watching. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you can still remember that last crispy chicken sandwich video that we made, then let us know down below in the comments. Let's not forget the patrons. You guys freaking rock, as well as the YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then, it's Makkelijk. Keep on grilling. Hashtag keep on grilling, that's right. Wow. Oh my God. I forgot to mention the mayonnaise. The it's mayonnaise so is evenly important. Yeah, but I do taste the, um, the butter. I definitely taste it. I think you had a quick taste of that butter too. It's there. And the but they told me that I have to say something. Critical. That's Rita. I have to be it's only one person. I have to be critical. No. Oh. But yeah, seriously, there's nothing wrong with it.